Hey, welcome to CG Dive. This is the first in a series of videos about using the AutoRig Pro add-on for Blender. If you like, you can call this course Rig Anything with AutoRig Pro. On CG Dive, we have a popular series called Rig Anything with Rigify. Rigify and AutoRig Pro are two add-ons that are somewhat similar, and we'll talk about this very soon. If you've never heard of AutoRig Pro, let's cover what it is. AutoRig Pro is a rigging add-on for Blender. At its core, it's an auto-rigger, which means that instead of you spending days and weeks creating a rig, a high-quality rig is created for you. You only need to use the right presets and align some bones to your actual character. On the flip side, all auto-riggers are limited by design. AutoRig Pro allows a lot of customization, but it cannot cover every single rigging scenario. So an important question that you have to answer for yourself is, do I want to use an auto-rigger or do I want to learn manual rigging instead? People who want to become proficient technical artists should learn manual rigging. People who just want to have their characters rigged quickly and with minimal hassle may benefit from auto-rigging. Personally, I make heavy use of auto-rigging, but I also study manual techniques, which allows me to extend my generated rigs or create custom ones when there is no automated solution. I feel I'm getting the best of both worlds this way. I also know other experienced animators and riggers who do use auto-rigging, so it is definitely not some quick cheat that only beginners use. It is important to note that AutoRig Pro is not just an auto-rigger. It is actually a monster add-on that helps with many tasks related to armatures, such as binding and weighting, creating shape keys, retargeting, managing a bone picker, exporting skeletal meshes to game engines, and more. Let's define some goals and aims for this series. My goal is to create the most comprehensive tutorial about AutoRig Pro. A common complaint about AutoRig Pro and many other Blender add-ons is that while the add-on is great, there aren't any good tutorials, so I'll be trying to fill that gap, I'll give you an overview of the add-on, and we'll be going well beyond the basics. If you've seen my Rigify tutorials or other videos on CG Dive, you know that we go in depth here. So if you decide to buy the add-on, you won't have to worry about finding quality information. I got you covered. And before we dive into the tutorials, I'm going to try to answer two essential questions. First of all, AutoRig Pro is a paid add-on, so we'll try to figure out who might want it and, you know, is it worth it? And somewhat related to that, how does AutoRig Pro compare to Rigify, which is free? AutoRig Pro is available on the Blender market, it's $40, and to answer the question, is it worth it, is not really straightforward, but let's give it a shot. First of all, make sure that you can afford it. If $40 seems like too much for you, then maybe stay away from the add-on, and I definitely don't want you to say that I pushed you into buying it. Also consider if you're interested in auto-rigging, if manual rigging is more interesting to you, then maybe you should spend your money on a rigging course such as Pyrrhic's Effective Rigging Course. Beyond auto-rigging, many people actually buy AutoRig Pro for some of its additional features, such as retargeting. I think that was my personal reason for buying AutoRig Pro, but then I also tested the auto-rigging and all of its other features. I've heard many stories uh, of people saying that they bought AutoRig Pro for the game export features. They said that they just tried everything, they tried Rigify and it was a mess, and then custom rigs, and then finally they found AutoRig Pro to be very streamlined when it comes to exporting to a game engine. And finally, you may be interested in AutoRig Pro if you like auto-rigging, but you found Rigify insufficient or difficult to work with. Maybe AutoRig Pro will be your cup of tea, and I feel like AutoRig Pro versus Rigify is the elephant in the room. So the next video will be all about that. All about comparing Rigify and AutoRig Pro. And I'll try to compare the two fairly and explain the main differences as best as I can. And before we move on to this next exciting topic, just a quick note about asking questions. I expect that as we are going through the tutorials, you may have questions. And I really appreciate that. I also learn a lot from questions that people ask me. 
However, there will be questions that I can answer and I'll be happy to answer. And there will be some that I simply won't be able to. So to put it really simply, I can answer questions regarding my own content about AutoRig Pro. So if you didn't quite understand what button I clicked at a certain point in the video, just ask me. Or if you want to request a video about an existing feature of AutoRig Pro, you can also leave a comment or discuss on Discord. However, if AutoRig Pro doesn't work for you, if you can't install the add-on, if you have any technical issues, then I probably won't be able to help you. In those cases, please ask the developer. It's very easy to contact him. You just go to the Blender Market page and there is a button to ask a question. My experience with Lucas, the developer of AutoRig Pro, is that he does listen to user feedback and he does answer user questions. Okay, hope this makes sense and See you in the next video. Big thanks to my supporters. You can join them on Patreon or Gumroad. That helps me create more content and you'll get some bonuses.